Alright guys, welcome back. This is Zero, and this is the end of Bloodborne. So, right now, the Hunter's Dream is burning in flames. We just used our... we had 40,000 Echoes, and uh, we just used them to level up real quick. I'll show you. We are now level 73 at the end of Bloodborne here, so it was a fun ride, but now we gotta get to the end. So, there's three different endings, and the way... I just want to make a quick video. They're already out there. I'm sure you guys know. If you want to get all of these endings on one playthrough, it is entirely possible. So the only thing you have to do is once you've finished everything, in our last video we did a little roundup, finished up some loose ends. Once you finish everything and you're just standing here in the tower, go ahead and exit your game, saving it where it's at. Alright? At that point, you're going to come over here, you're going to go to the settings, you're going to go down to your, syst uh, your application save data management. Right? It's going to ask you to close Bloodborne, and you're going to want to save your Bloodborne data to a USB or the online storage. Once you do that, you can come restart Open Bloodborne and go ahead and finish the first ending. After the first ending, you're going to go back out, close Bloodborne, and reload your saved data from when you were standing right here. That way you can enjoy all three endings on one playthrough. You don't have to go through New Game Plus all the way each time to see each ending because that's just going to be hell on you. Um, New Game Plus is going to be fun, and I suggest doing it, but if you want to just get the endings real quick, that's how you do it. So, without further ado, let's do the first ending, the easiest ending, and we're going to accept our fate as a hunter. Good hunter, you've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. Farewell, my keen hunter. Fear the blood. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Alright everybody, now let's get the next ending. So, we just did the first ending. You gotta 
submit your life, go down. Let's go ahead and go for the second Good ending. Hunter, we're gonna refuse. You've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. Alright, so here's your other option. Instead of submitting our life and ending the game out, which, and truthfully, I think is probably one of the better endings. You get to wake up from the dream and uh, you're actually in Old Yarnum. So, alright, let's, uh, let's refuse. <laughs> dear, oh dear. What was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? It doesn't matter. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight. Gammon joins the hunt. Alright guys, we're back, and uh, we got our ass handed to us a couple of times. So I brought friends along this time, and uh, hopefully that won't happen. We'll be able to uh, take this guy out, show you the second ending. We still have one more, we're going to have to beat him again. Uh, well, I didn't want to spoil it for you, but we're going to have to beat him again. So next time. Got a couple friends. One of them's got some magic. Oh, one's gonna be down. Quick. Had a reasonably amount of blood echo. down, but I think we might get him this time. <laughs> 
it's so it's been close before. Oh, it looks like we did it. It looks like we did it. Appreciate it, man. Helped out. So we collect the old hunter badge, and this is the second ending. So, the hunt begins again. Alright guys, so here we are with the third and final ending to Bloodborne. So, before you get to German, we are going to use a little item. And this is an item that you've been saving up the entire game, wondering what it's all about. Go down here to the umbilical cords. And uh, I know this is going to sound a little gross, but I think we're going to have to eat them. So let's go through. Third each, right? So you only need to eat three. I don't think anything happens if you eat four. No big, no big bonus. But there's four available in the game, so you'll be able to uh, get them if you need them. Good and now we're going to start this up just like we were going to do the second ending. We're going to refuse. We're going to have some fight here. But there'll be a little no. bit of a surprise after we fight him you with the moon presence. So you here we go. Die. Forget the day. Alright guys, so here's going to be the difference between ending one, or yeah, ending two. Remember, this is after we have eaten or consumed the umbilical cord. Three thirds. Yeah, alright, that's 
it right there. Kill yourself. There we go. Just gonna check my back pocket. Nice of you, buddy. Thanks a lot. We took him down, man. Appreciate your help. I'm sure everybody else does too. Are you cold? Good hunter. And there's the last trophy. The last ending, childhood beginning. And I guess we could take from that that you have ascended and to become a great one. Then, uh, taking those umbilical cords in, when the moon presence saw that you took those in it, it probably saw that you were now a great one you have ascended um, maybe by the blood just mixing in yours and it was just infuriated so it attacks you but you beat it and now you are uh, reborn as a great one so what's the best ending i don't know i mean personally i think that maybe the first ending is probably the best i know it's the weakest you don't get to fight two more bosses but you submit your life and you get to wake up from this dream. You're done with the, the hunt. So maybe you can move on. Get the hell out of here. Uh, the second ending, definitely probably not the best. You don't want to be trapped as the, uh, the master hunter for, for years to come. Everybody that comes in after you, you're going to have to slice and dice when they try to, they try to take you over. And I don't necessarily know if it's great to be a great one, though. You are the uh, you know, great one. So if you're going to be one, you probably want to be the one that takes over the presence and initiates this entire scenario. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for being here. Please follow me on Twitter, at Zero Hill Games, and like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.